www.yahoohelpdesk.net 24 7 toll free 1800-413-6359 Get technical help with Yahoo Password Recovery Issues Issues with Drafting Emails Unable to recover old emails and attachments Yahoo Mail running slow Unable to chat online with friends Unable to send or receive email Login failure Setting and configuring email client Filtering spam email Deleting junk mails Improving internet speed Troubleshooting general problems related to email client Resolving email sending or receiving problem Setting and configuring email client Filtering spam email Deleting junk mails Improving internet speed Troubleshooting general problems related to email client Resolving email sending or receiving problem Why call us? Easy, safe and secure assistance 91% customer approval rate 24x7 availability of certified technicians Quick solutions for latest device and apps Remote assistance paving way for a speedy and absolute problem fixing www.yahoohelpdesk.net 24 7 toll free 1800-413-6359 www.yahoohelpdesk.net 24 7 toll free 1800-413-6359 By the year 2020, 60% of the populations will be millennials. They use technology in every aspect of their life. And they are very particular in the way that they want the things and when they want it. So we decided to implement a new cloud-based solution that allows us to continue the innovation for the smaller team to work on a microservices level. And this led us into creating a cluster computing methodology within our data centers. So the heart of Verizon's platform is Linux at the bottom. We chose to use Docker container containerization, and on top of that, we deploy everything through Apache Mesos. The way Microsoft is helping us with the transition by taking the .NET Core and ASP.NET 5 technologies into a cross-platform world. This allows us to combine all the development efforts for both for Windows and Linux. Visual Studio gives us great flexibility across the board and, and, and all the development. This allows our developers to maintain their existing tool set and maintain the knowledge they've built up over years in helping to deliver these applications into our cluster. We were like highly excited on writing our first code and it just ran seamlessly. A system on IT data center takes like months, but here it's going to be in like minutes. We get our application into the container and we are out to the world. Now that .NET Core is open source, our developers are going to contribute and help and feel excited that they are helping others. We're now being viewed as a much more nimbler, quicker company, able to deliver the solutions that people demand.